Welcome everyone to Yoga with Dogs 30 Day Challenge. My name is Melody. This is Ruby Rubes if you can see her. Everyone else is asleep off screen today. And today we're doing a beautiful vinyasa flow. So we'll get straight into it. Come on down to seated, cross-legged or one leg extended on a block or even in half lotus, whatever floats your boat and feels good for you. So place one hand on your knee, palm facing up and then the other and start to focus on the rise and fall of your breath. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, just soften and release. Inhale, big arm circle all together up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, back to heart center. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale, fingertips touch, hold here. Find length, and exhale, arm you left hand down, reach over towards the right, gaze going up towards our armpit or side of the room. Breathing here. Inhale, expand, and exhale, soften. Inhale, rise on up, reach high, Right hand down, left hand reaches, opening up our chest. Breathing here. Inhale and soften. Expand, grow and surrender and release. Come on up overhead, reach the fingers high. Take them wide, touching the ground. And we're just going to wriggle our fingertips behind us, squeeze our shoulder blades. Really open up our chest here, our gaze goes high. Inhale and exhale. When we're ready, walk our hands forward. I'm gonna be mindful of a ruby here and we're just gonna lean forward. So inhale, find length in our spine. And exhale, gently soften and release. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And you're ready, come on up. And swap feet. So whatever, I have this one on top, so I'm gonna swap it and have my other one on top. If you've got one leg extended out, bring it in, extend the other one out. We're just going opposite ways to get a different stretch in our hips. So swap your feet over. Find length in the spine, send those shoulder blades down the back and walk on forward. Relax the tailbone down. I'm going to rest my forehead on Ruby <laughs> and just breathe. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale and exhale. And already we're going to walk on up, find that beautiful straight spine and come on over into our tabletop position. So take our time, wrists, shoulders, knees, hips. We know the drill, spread the fingers. Come into your cat cow, drop the belly, open up the chest. And exhale, navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, nice and high. And exhale, round out the spine, chin to chest. Really wring out any tension. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, make your way into your child's pose. Take your knees wide, forehead down to the mat and just breathe here for three breaths. Feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale. And exhale, use this moment to connect to your breath, connect to your body. And make sure we've got that beautiful, even breath throughout class. So we're inhaling, counting. So it might be for five counts, 10 counts, 20 counts, does not matter. Start to make sure your exhale is just as long, creating a beautiful, even yogic breath. 
when we're ready, we're going to come up into our tabletop position. We're going to tuck our toes under and walk our feet towards our knees. So you might just play here. This might be enough for your feet. Your ankles and toes might be quite sensitive. Putting weight on them might be enough here. Or you might be able to come up onto your toes. We're coming into a nice toe squat here. So you might be coming up onto your toes, really balancing. Your hands might be in front for stability. Or you might have a coffee table or whatever it is close by. Or we might start to rise on up. Ooh, I'm a bit balancing today. Rise on up. Shoulders, hips, ankles stacked, navel towards spine. When we're really ready, really activate the legs. We can do this. We're going to push on up. Come on up. Big reach all the way to standing. And exhale, hands wide down beside the body. So just find our mountain pose here. Shoulder blades down the back. Feet, all four corners, four corners of the feet are pushing into the earth. Hands are wide. Shoulder blades are down the back. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Big arm circle all together up overhead. Walk to the top of our mat if we're not already. And we're going to start with our flow. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming up to our halfway lift. Really savor the sensation. Start to activate the kneecaps, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold. Really relax. All of our knees bent. You might sway side to side. Plant the hands down, step one foot back and then the other coming into our plank position. You might be on the knees for the first one and then lowering the chest down and then the hips down. Untuck the toes, press into the tops of the toes, tips, hip, hips and hands into cobra and exhale, lower. Make your way into your beautiful child's pose. Take your time, find your connection to the earth. And when we're ready, tuck our toes, press into our hands, send our hips up overhead. Beautiful downward facing dog. So we'll pedal the heels in our first downward facing dog, really opening up the hips, opening up the hamstrings, the calves, just noticing the sensations, the differences side to side. Find our stillness, find a little bit more length in the spine, send the shoulder blades down the back, the chest towards the thighs. Then bend our knees, look towards our hands. All together, we'll take those little steps into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend our knees generously. Roll on up, vertebra by vertebra. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, we'll take our palms wide into our mountain. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Find your core. Find your stability. And exhale. One more big arm circle up. Overhead fingertips touch. We're flowing again. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Come up into our halfway lift. And exhale. Fold. Bend our knees. Plant our hands. Come back to our plank or half plank lightly. So we're not dragging our feet there. We're nice and light and nimble. Exhale, lower. And tuck our toes, press into our hips and hands, up into our cobra. And exhale, lower. Come into your child's pose. Take your time. Relaxing here. Breathing, connecting. Before we, you guessed it, make it our way into our downward facing dog. So really... Draw the navel towards the spine, squeeze the kneecaps and the heels further down if you can. Find your alignment. And when we're ready, we'll bend our knees, look towards our hands, take little steps, or you might step up in one step for each foot into our forward fold. Now grab our elbows, rock side to side, ragdoll pose here. Place our hands on our hips, our shins, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend our knees generously. We're going to rise on up all together. Big arm circle up overhead. Fingertips touch. Little back bend. Squeeze the glutes back. Come up to centre and bring our hands back down to our heart. Breathing here. Send the hands down beside the body. Mountain pose. Find our 
strength, find our center. And we're just gonna step our big toes together, heels apart, little gap. Beautiful. Inhale, hands up overhead and exhale. We're gonna send our hips away into our chair pose, breathing here. So inhale, flow, find length, and exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, sink a little deeper, you can do it. Palms in at heart center and fold. Really nice work, guys. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, come back through your flow, plank. Chaturanga and tuck the toes, come up into your cobra in your own time and exhale lower. Make your way to your child's pose. Savor the sensation. And when we're ready, we're going to tuck our toes, press into our hands, lift our hips up. Beautiful. Now we're going to put all the weight into our left foot and just play with that lifting up of our right foot that we've been doing in our last few classes. So just notice here. And when we're ready, we're going to get our right foot in between our hands. So step it on up, lower down that back knee. Open up the chest here. Beautiful. Inhale. When we're ready, get that right foot through in between our hands. Our left foot goes to warrior one feet. So heel to heel alignment, back foot at 45 degrees, really activate the legs, activate the navel towards spine. Roll on up into our warrior one, sink. Nice, we're gonna flow here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, sink the hips a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach up to the sky and exhale, sink a little deeper, beautiful. Hands wide, clasp them at the lower back. Open up the chest here, breathe. When ready, unclasp the hands, place them down beside that foot. Front foot to meet the back with grace and go through our flow. Plank, chaturanga. Come up into our cobra. And exhale to our, da our <laughs> not downward facing dog, our child's pose. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale, release. When we're ready, we are going to come into our downward facing dog now. Tuck our toes, press into our hands, come on up. Namwes. Now, you guessed it, same on the other side. Right foot to weight, left foot is light. Squeeze that left glute, squeeze the kneecap. Bring that knee towards your nose and place that left foot in between your hands. Back foot comes to warrior one feet. Push into our big toes, activate the legs, roll on up into your warrior one. So your hips are squared off towards the front of the mat. Hands are high and breathe here. Inhale, find length and exhale, soften. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Take the hands to the lower back. Breathing here, squeeze the knuckles towards the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale, release those hands. Frame that front foot and go through our flow. Plank, chaturanga, come up into our cobra. Exhale, lower. Make your way back into your child's pose. Breathing here. And then make our way into our downward facing dog. So one more, bend the knees, look towards the hands, little steps, one and then the other, into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bend our knees generously, navel towards spine, press into the feet, rebound, roll on up, hands wide, up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale back to heart center. Just breathe here for a moment. Find the little bit of heat, the little bit of energy you've con conveyed in the body. And when we're ready, one more big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. We're going to bring our big toes together once more. Hands forward, hips back into our chair pose. Inhale, find a little bit of length. Exhale, sink. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, 
and exhale, hands at heart center, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. Come through your flow, plank, chaturanga. Come up into your cobra. And exhale to your child's pose. Just relax and release here. Now, you can either come up into your downward facing dog or if you but had enough energy today, just come up into your tabletop position. Wherever we are, we're going to get our right foot in between our hands. So get here however you like. It's your practice. You're at home. Do whatever feels good for you. So just relax and release here, really opening up that hip flexor, breathing. And if you've got a block handy, you might place that left hand on a block or the ground. We're going to peel our right hand up to the sky, opening up to the right side of the room, breathing here. I'm going to send that hand, if it feels good, all the way reaching towards the back of the room. Our gaze is towards our back thumb. Breathe and release. Beautiful. Sweep that hand to the sky, back around to the front. Frame that front foot. Now, you can stay here or you can come on with me and wriggle this right hand to the inside of that right foot and wriggle the right foot to the outside of it. So we're getting a deeper hip stretch here. So your might, hands might be on the ground or your hands might be on a block. You might just stay here. This might feel so nice and a really good release for you. Or if you'd like to come on, you can actually come down onto your forearms. They can be on a block or on the ground. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders down. The gaze can go towards the back knee. Gently release. Squeeze that right knee in towards the body so we're not letting it flop out to the side. When you're ready, gently come on up back to the hands. Lengthen the spine here. Now you can stay here or you can actually start to gently guide your right hand, right knee, there we go, to the outside. So just kind of guide it out. You're coming onto the outside edge of this right foot. So you can help guide it out with your hand. You can just let it fall naturally. Just come to wherever feels good for you. Beautiful hip opening here. Breathing. And when we're ready, we'll all come back to center. Bring that right hand to the outside of that right foot. That left hand is down. Wriggle that right foot back into your tabletop position and come back to your child's pose. Just relax and release here. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Now you can come up into your tabletop position or tuck your toes. Come up into your downward facing dog. You guessed it. Same on the other side. Left foot up, get it, squeeze the knee to nose and get that left foot in between our hands, however you like. Lower that back knee down. You can grab a book or a book or whatever we want. Place that right hand on it and peel our left hand up towards the left or even take that hand behind us. Beautiful spinal twist here. So we're lengthening the spine, our shoulder blades are down the back. Beautiful. And we might send that hand up, back overhead, onto the outside edge of that left foot. Now we're going to wriggle it to the inside. So left hand to the inside of that left foot. Just wriggle that left foot out just a little bit. So you might just stay here or you might be able to come down onto the forearms, resting the forehead down. You might be like, Melody, you are crazy. That is not happening. Books and blocks, my friend. They are our best friends. So you might be here. You might be with lots of blocks with your hands on it. Just go to wherever you feel supported and safe. There is no right or wrong. So go here and then wherever we are, so if we're relaxing with the head down, we're all going to come back onto our hands and we're going to guide that left foot out if that feels good for you. If not, just skip it and chill out. Come on to that left, outside left area of that foot. You know what I mean. Guide that left knee out and just breathe here. So you might be able to guide that left knee out with your hand. You might be able to just let it fall naturally. Just play, see, notice the sensations. It's a really deep opening here, but it's so nourishing, so good for your inner hips. Breathing here. And when we're ready, we're all gonna come back to center, come back onto our left foot. Left hand comes to the outside edge of that left, left foot. Tuck our back toes under, push into our hands and come back into our tabletop position. Take a little cat cow, we deserve it. We deserve a little wriggle, a little shake. And wriggle the shoulders, sway the hips side to side, take them in circles. 
Oh, that feels so good. Move in whatever way feels good and natural for you. Beautiful. When we're ready, we're going to bring our hands towards our knees. Rise on up. Come into a nice little back bend. So heel of our hand into our glutes. Bend the chest so the hips go forward, the glutes are on, and the shoulder blades go down the back into our camel pose. You might be like, this is not happening, Melody. Absolutely no way. Just gently massage. A lower back does not often like to be opened up if it's been really compressed and stuff. So we might just need to be gentle, take our time, just massage here, notice the sensations of the area. And when we're ready, we're all going to come up, place our hands down in front of us and come into a seated position. So take your time, my friend, no rush. One leg extended out. It's going to be in the inside of my legs, the other one out. And just find your long spine here. So you might feel that your spine is really rounded when you sit with both of your legs out, which is pretty common to be fair. So I highly recommend a block underneath the hip. So it gets it higher than our knees and you feel that your lower back is less compressed. You can lengthen that spine a little bit easier. Awesome. If props allow you to feel better, use them at all costs. So we're just going to really find that nice straight spine here, length. Inhale, hands up overhead, fingertips touch. Now I'm going to mirror you. So right hand goes down our right foot, reaching over, oh sorry, left hand goes to left foot. I said I was going to mirror, but I lied. And then right hand reaches over top, gaze goes towards the roof, breathing here. Inhale, finding length. And exhale, softening and releasing. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, rise, both hands up overhead, find that same length in the shoulder blades down the back. Kind of tilt yourself back so you can feel that straight line in the spine. And then right hand goes down to the right foot, left hand reaches over. Nice, and just release. So this is a variation of that, that side stretch we did at the start of class. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, and already come on up. Give yourself shoulders a little shake, a little wriggle, roll them back and forward. We're going to find that same length in the spine. Just have our hands in front of us. And we might just be here, we might just have a block in front of us. And we just might gently lean forward. So activate the kneecaps, squeeze the knees down, bring the toes towards our face so they're not just flopping around. And just lean and you'll feel a really beautiful stretch all through our legs. So you might just be here, or you might be able to lean forward with a straight spine. No point brownie points for touching the ground if we've got a rounded spine. So inhale, find that length, and then just lean forward however you can. So you might be on lots of blocks, you might be on the ground, you might be just leaning forward a millimetre, it does not matter. Poor belly scratches, big stretches, Ruby Rubes, big stretches. Yeah. Good girl. So just relax here and release. When we're ready, we'll all come back up. If you've got a block underneath your sacrum, um, underneath your tailbone, take it out, move them to the side, and come on down to your mats, guys. So pick up your legs, bring them back in. I'm just going to twist this way so you can see me. Roll on down, vertebra by vertebra, really nice. And just with the knees facing the ceiling, the soles of the feet touching the earth, just relax and release here for a moment. Inhale, fill the belly, and ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, just sigh any last tension out and away. Beautiful. So we are going to grab a block once more. So hopefully we haven't put them too far away. Grab it. Move our heels in close towards our glutes. Push into our big toes. Just play here. And we're going to come into a nice supported bridge pose. So we can have the block or book or textbook or whatever we have underneath our sacrum. So that's between our tailbone and our lower back. So move it up and down. You'll find that nice rigid bony bit that will be able to take weights. Just play. 
Um, so just find that space. You might be on the lowest setting. That might be feel really nice for your lower back. You might be on the mid setting. You might be on a really high setting. Just go to whatever feels good for your lower back. Hands can just be on the belly and chest, or you might just have them flat beside you, palms facing up. So just gently relax and release. When we're ready, one more inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, sigh out any last tension. Push into our big toes, push our hips up so we can safely take that block out from under our lower back and roll down vertebra by vertebra until we feel that lower back connecting with the earth. Super, super nice. Now when we're ready, we're going to send one leg up towards the sky. It doesn't matter which one, you can do whatever you want, and then the other. And you would just grab the backs of the thighs here. We might be super bent, we might be here. We might be able to push the heels in towards the sky, activate the kneecaps. And just play here, pointing the toes towards our face, and then the ceiling. You might just wriggle them, notice the sensations, the differences, taking them in different angles. You might shake the arms and legs, really release. And when already, bring both knees in towards your chest. Just give yourself a really big hug. Good work today, guys. You are amazing. Now you can just stay here. If you'd like to come into happy baby, you can take your knees into your so armpits, your soles of the feet towards the ceiling. Ah, nice. You might. Rock side to side here, you might just be still, you might extend your legs. And when we're ready, release the feet, place them on the ground, extend the legs, palms facing up and coming into our Savasana. Find that place of deep rest, find that place of relaxation. And just gently start to soften and release with the rise and fall of your breath. Inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When we're ready, we're going to bring both knees into our chest. Give ourselves one more hug and we're going to rock up to seated. So just play here. You might just give us a couple of rocks and then come up gently or you might rock back and forth quite a bit. There is no right and wrong. Until we eventually we'll come up and do a seated position. It's all a bit of play cross-legged or whatever feels comfortable for you. Big arm circle all together. Inhale, fingertips touch. And exhale, back to heart center. Place our thumb on our sternum. And focus on the rise and fall of our breath. In awe of our body that allows us to do such awesome movements every day that we can move and breathe and love and experience in this life. So good work for stepping on your mat today, sending you lots of love and gratitude. Namaste.